Hi everyone, this is Courtney with Fiber Fox Studios and welcome to another Mosaic Monday. Today we're going to be working on this butterfly design. It's the solid butterfly and we are going to be working chart one, which is the full butterfly design. Next week I will teach you guys how to work chart number two, which is the half butterfly design in this chart set. There are a couple of variations of this butterfly changing the background out in the chart set, but we're going to learn the solid pattern, the full and half butterflies in the next two tutorials so that you guys can make anything that you would want. The crochet hook that I'm using along with any other information that I think you guys would have uh, questions on or find useful is always down there in the description. So make sure you are checking out the description and we're going to be working in a multiple of 24 plus four if you're working flat. We're going to be doing just 24 if you're working in the round, and you can work in the round, flat, left, or right-handed, all by following this one tutorial. So we are going to select two colors of yarn, your favorite crochet hook, and we're going to jump into the tutorial and get started. We begin by chaining in our multiple of 24 in color A as many times as we want. If you are working flat, you are going to add four chains to the end of your chain count, and then you will be working row one. If you're going to work in the round, you're just simply going to chain in the multiple of 24, and then you will slip stitch to the first chain you made to form a ring, and then you will begin working the repeats given in the video in the same stitch that you slip stitched into. You have to maintain your stitch count of 24 throughout when you're working in the round. For the rest of us working flat, we're going to chain our multiple of 24, add four chains to the end. In my case, I've done a total of 48 chains for our multiples, so that's two multiples of 24, and then I've added four chains onto the end. So I have a total of 52 stitches, which is going to give me two repeats wide of our pattern. So we're gonna begin row one now, and that is very, very simple. We're gonna skip the very first chain from our hook and come into that second chain to work our traditional single crochet. So that means that we're going completely into the stitch, going under that V in the very first stitch, and we do our single crochet just like normal. So we begin working our single crochets in the back loop only into the very next stitch. So we don't skip anything. We just work one back loop only single crochet in every single stitch. For the rest of the tutorial, I'll be referring to these as single crochets. And you will just know that when we're working our repeat stitches, you're working your single crochets by picking up that back loop. And that is how all of our repeat stitches are worked when we're doing single crochets. So you're going to place one in every single stitch all the way down the row. In the very last stitch of the row, we'll need to do another traditional single crochet. So we will meet up again at that point at the end of the row. So pause here and we'll be back in just a moment. We're back and we're at the end of row one. We are going to work our final stitch together. The final stitch of every row will be worked doing a traditional single crochet. So we go under the V in that last stitch every time. You never, this never changes when you're working flat. If you're working in the round, you guys of course do not have your traditional single crochets. So you would not work this as part of your in the round project. The flat workers are the only ones that need the traditional single crochet at the start and end of the row. So from here, you can bind off however you like, but I like to chain up two. And I clip my yarn and cinch down those chains to make a little knot. We're now gonna begin row number two and we'll be working in color B for this row. So we go here to the beginning of our row and we make sure that we go into that first stitch you always make sure that you scoot down your turning chain from that row one where we began. We don't want to accidentally work into that little side bump here. So we're going to go into the first stitch and you're going to join on your new colored yarn. So for me, color B is going to be this yellow yarn. 
and we add that to our hook. Now we draw up that loop. We're going to grab both the tail and working yarn and chain one. And now we're going to complete a traditional single crochet. You can let your tail fall at this point, but we're gonna go back into the same first stitch. So we're gonna go right back here into that stitch. And now we're going to grab our yarn and pull up our loop. And then grab our yarn and pull through all of that to do our traditional single crochet. So that's how you'll be joining on at the beginning of every single row. From here, our repeat for row number two begins, and row two is exactly like row one, because it's one of our setup rows, we're gonna be placing a single crochet in all of our stitches. So that means we're just picking up that back loop and working just as normal, doing a single crochet from there. So you're gonna work all the way down your row, placing a single crochet in every stitch, do a traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row, and then we will meet back up when you're ready for row number three. We are now moving on to row number three, and we will be working in color A for this row. Row three's repeat begins with four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and number four. One double crochet. All of our double crochets will be worked exactly the same. We're gonna wrap our yarn just like normal but we're going to identify the next stitch and then slide directly down, picking up the front loop two rows below. There's. Then we just double crochet just like normal. We can fold this back and behind each double crochet will be one stitch. That's what they take up on the row behind us. So if you fold it back, you'll see there's one stitch back there. And then when we place this over, it covers up that stitch. And that is how we want to make sure that we are positioned before we move on to our next stitch. We're going to work two single crochets next. So now we know this is our next stitch. There's one and two. One double crochet. nine single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and number nine. Now we will work one double crochet. Two single crochets. One. And number two, one double crochet, and we will work three single crochets to end our repeat. There's one, two and three. So that ends our repeat for row number three. So let's recap what we've done. Row three's repeat began with four single crochets, 
one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, nine single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with three single crochets. So you will be starting back over and working four single crochets next, immediately following these three. So you start right back over with the repeat and begin again. So you're going to be able to pause the video, work this set of stitches as many times as you need to, and then we will meet back up at the end of the row to work together. So we're now back here at the end of row number three. I have just completed the repeat stitches. So I have ended with the three single crochets that the repeat ends with. And I have two stitches left in my row. You will find on every row you are going to have two stitches left. And on every row we're going to handle those stitches the same way. We restart the repeat for one stitch in the second to last stitch. And then we do our traditional single crochet in the very last stitch. So for row three, the repeat begins with a single crochet. So that is what we would place here. Whatever the repeat begins with is going to go into this stitch, the second to last stitch, no matter what row we're on. So that's how you'll work all of your row ends. So in this case, I'm doing a single crochet and then a traditional single crochet. And now we're going to move up and work row number four. We're moving on now to row number four, and we will be working in color B for this row. Row four's repeat begins with six single crochets. One. Two. three, four, five, and number six. One double crochet. Eleven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and eleven. One double crochet. And we will end the repeat by working five single crochets. Next stitch. There's one, two, three, four, and five. So that ends our repeat for row number four. So let's recap what we have done. Row four's repeat began with a total of six single crochets, one double crochet, 11 single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with five single crochets. So you will start back over and work six single crochets next and keep working this set of stitches on down your row. We'll meet back up when you're ready for row number five. But remember at the end of the row, you're gonna have two stitches left. You're gonna restart your repeat for the second to last stitch, and then traditional single crochet in the very last stitch of the row.
Row 5 begins now, and we are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row 5 begins with 5 single crochets. 1 2 3 and five. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One. Two. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Then four single crochets will end our repeat. One, two, three, and number four. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row five's repeat began with five single crochets, one double crochet two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So make sure you start back over and work five single crochets that start your repeat next. You don't add anything in in between. You just simply start your repeat over and begin that again. And we'll be back in just a moment for row number six. We're now moving on to row number six. We will be working in color B for this row. Our repeat for row number six begins with six single crochets. There's one, two, three, four. five and six. Two double crochets. One and number two. 
four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Four single crochets. One. Two. Three. And four. Two double crochets. One. And number two. And we will end the repeat by working five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and number five. So let's recap what we've done since we just ended our repeat. So row number six's repeat begins with six single crochets, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat working the six single crochets and keep moving with that set of stitches on down your row. We'll be back when you are ready for row number seven. Row seven begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row number seven begins by doing five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. One double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, and number four. Two double crochets. One. And number two. One single crochet. Two double crochets. One and number two. We will now work four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet. And we will end the repeat by doing a total of four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. 
Row seven's repeat began with a total of five single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, two double crochets, one single crochet, two double crochets, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with four single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row number eight in just a moment. We're moving on to row number eight now and we will be working in color B for this row. Row eight's repeat begins with six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Four double crochets. One, two, three, and number four. Two single crochets, one and two. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, four double crochets, one. Two, three, and number four. And we will end our repeat by doing five single crochets. One, two, Three, four, and five. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number eight's repeat began with six single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, four double crochets, and we end with five single crochets. Let's keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down your row. We'll be back for row number nine in just a moment. Row number nine begins now and we will be working in color A. Row nine's repeat begins with four single crochets. One, two, three, and number four. One double crochet, six single crochets, one. two, three, four, five, and six. One double crochet.
one single crochet. One double crochet. Six single crochets. One. Two. Three. Four. Five and six, one double crochet, and we will end the repeat by doing three single crochets one, two and number three so that ends our repeat so let's recap what we've done row number nine's repeat began with four single crochets one double crochet six single crochets one double crochet one single crochet one double crochet six single crochets one double crochet and we end with three single crochets come back to the video whenever you are ready for row number 10. row 10 begins now and we are working in color b for this row row 10's repeat begins with five single crochets one, two, three, four, and five. Six double crochets. One. two, three, four, five, and number six. One single crochet. one double crochet one single crochet six double crochets one two three, four, five, and number six. Now we will work four single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, three, and number four. That ends our repeat, so let's recap what we've done. Row 10's repeat began with a total of five single crochets, six double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, six double crochets, and then we end with a total of four single crochets. 
So keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down the row. We'll be back when you are ready for row number 11. Row 11 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 11's repeat begins with four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Six single crochets. One. Two, three, four, five, and number six. One double crochet, one single crochet. One double crochet, six single crochets, one, two, three, four. five, six, one double crochet, and we will end our repeat by doing three single crochets. One, two, and three. So that ends our repeat. Let's recap what we've done. Row number 11's repeat began with four single crochets, one double crochet, six single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, six single crochets, one double crochet and we end with three single crochets so make sure you're starting back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down the rest of your row we'll be back for row 12 in just a moment row 12 begins now and we are working in color b row 12's repeat begins by doing seven single crochets here's one two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Four double crochets. One, two, three, and number four. One single crochet. One double crochet, one single crochet, four double crochets, one.
two, three, and number four. And we will end the repeat by doing a total of six single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and number six. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 12's repeat began over here with seven single crochets, four double crochets, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, four double crochets, and we end with six single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that set of stitches all the way down the row. Row 13 begins now and we are working in color A for this row. Our repeat for row 13 begins with three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet. And we'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets. One and two. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 13's repeat began with three single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, and then we end with two single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row 14 in just a moment. Row 14 begins now, and we are working in color B for this row. Row 14's repeat begins with four single crochets. One. Two. Three. And four. Seven double crochets, one, two, three, 
one. Two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Three single crochets, one, two, and three. Now we're going to work seven double crochets, one, two, Three, four, five, six, and number seven. And we will work three single crochets to end our repeat. One, two, and three. So that ends our repeat. So let's recap. Row 14's repeat began with four single crochets, seven double crochets, three single crochets, seven double crochets, and then we end with three single crochets. So keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row 15 in just a moment. Row 15 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 15's repeat begins with two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One double crochet. One single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. One double crochet. And one single crochet ends the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row 15's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, eight 
single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, one double crochet, and we end with one single crochet. Keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row 16 in just a moment. Row 16 begins now and we are working in color B for this row. Row 16's repeat begins with three single crochets. One, two, and three. Seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. Five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, seven double crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five. six and seven. We'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets. One and number two. So that ends our repeat for row 16. So let's recap what we've done. Row 16's repeat began with a total of three single crochets, seven double crochets, five single crochets, seven double crochets, and we end with two single crochets. So keep working that exact set of stitches all the way down the row. We'll be back for row 17 in just a moment. Row 17 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 17's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. Eight single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One double crochet, one 
one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we will end the repeat by doing one double crochet. So that ends our repeat, so let's recap. Row 17's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, eight single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row number 18 in just a moment. Row 18 begins now, and we are working in color B. Row 18's repeat begins with two single crochets. One and two. Seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five. Six and number seven. Two single crochets, one and number two, one double crochet. one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, seven double crochets, One, two, three, four, five, six. and seven. And one single crochet in this next stitch to end the repeat. So let's recap what we've done. For row 18, our repeat began with 
two single crochets, seven double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet, two single crochets, seven double crochets, and we end with one single crochet. So keep working on down your row. We'll be back whenever you're ready for row number 19. Row 19 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 19's repeat begins with one single crochet. One double crochet. Seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and number seven. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, and number two. One double crochet, Two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet. And that ends our repeat for row number 19. So let's recap what we've done. Row 19's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, and one double crochet. We'll end that repeat. So keep working in that exact set of stitches all the way down the row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 20. Row 20 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 20's repeat begins with two single crochets. One, and number two, six double crochets, one, two, three, four, five, and number six. Two single crochets, one, and two. One double crochet, three single crochets, 
one, two, three, one, double crochet, two single crochets, One, two, six double crochets, there's number one, two, three, four, five, and number six. And we'll end the repeat by doing one single crochet right here into this next stitch. That ends the repeat for row number 20. So let's recap what we've done. Row 20's repeat began with two single crochets, six double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, six double crochets and one single crochet to end your repeat so keep working on down your row and we will be back when you are ready for row 21. row 21 begins now and we are working in color a row 21's repeat begins with one single crochet one double crochet six single crochets one two three four five and six, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, one single crochet, one double crochet two single crochets one and two one double crochet six single crochets one two three four five and six and one double crochet will end our repeat. All right, so let's recap what we've done. Row 21's repeat began with one single crochet, one double crochet, six single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, one single crochet, 
one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, six single crochets, and we end with one double crochet. So keep working on down your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row number 22. Row 22 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 22's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. So we're going to work one right here, two, and number three. Four double crochets. There's number one. Two. Three and number four. Two single crochets, one and number two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two. One double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, four double crochets, there's one, two, three and four and we'll end the repeat by doing two single crochets one and number two so that ends our repeat so let's recap what we've done row 22's repeat began with three single crochets, four double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, four double crochets and we end with two single crochets. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working that set of stitches. We'll be back for row 23 next. Row 23 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 23's repeat begins by doing two single crochets. One, and two, one double crochet, four single crochets, one, two, three, 
three and four. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Three single crochets. One, two, three, one double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, four single crochets, one two, three, and number four. One double crochet. And we'll end the repeat by doing one single crochet. So that ends our repeat for row 23. So let's recap it. Row 23's repeat began with two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, three single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, four single crochets, one double crochet, and we end the repeat with one single crochet. So start back over at the beginning of the repeat and keep working on down your row. We'll be back in just a moment for row 24. Row 24 begins now and we are working in color B. Row 24's repeat begins by doing four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. Two double crochets. One, and number two. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One, Two double crochets. There's one and number two. And we'll do three single crochets to end our repeat. It's right there. One, two. And three. 
So that ends our repeat. So let's recap what we've done. Row number 24's repeat began with a total of four single crochets, two double crochets, two single crochets, one double crochet, seven single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, two double crochets, and we end with three single crochets. So keep working on down your row. We'll be back for row 25 in just a moment. Row 25 begins now and we are working in color A. Row 25's repeat begins by doing three single crochets. There's one. Two and three. One double crochet. Two single crochets. One and two. One double crochet. Two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, five single crochets, one, two, three, four, and number five. One double crochet, two single crochets, one, two, one double crochet, two single crochets, one and two, one double crochet, and we will end our repeat by working two single crochets. One and number two. Okie doke. So that ends our repeat for row 25. Let's recap what we've done. Row 25's repeat began over here with three single crochets. One double crochet two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, five single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, two single crochets, one double crochet, and two single crochets. So keep working in that exact set of stitches over and over. And we'll be back for row 26 in just a moment. So we are beginning row 26 now, and we are working in color B for this row. Row 26 has a super simple repeat. Very, very easy, guys. We're going to place a single crochet in every single stitch. That's all you need to do for the repeat is single crochet all the way down your row. And then we will meet back up for our final row, which is row 27. And we'll do some little finishing, and then we'll talk about how you can move up for additional repeats of the pattern. This is all you need to do. Single crochet in all of your stitches all the way down the row. So you can pause here, complete your row, meet back up with me in just a second.
Row 27 begins now, and we are working in color A for this row. Row 27's repeat begins by doing four single crochets. There's one, two, three, and four. One double crochet. Fifteen single crochets. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. One double crochet. And we will end our repeat by working three single crochets. There's one, two, and three. So let's recap what we've done. Row 27's repeat began with four single crochets, one double crochet, 15 single crochets. See where you're working one double crochet, and then we end with three single crochets. So keep working on down your row, and I'll be back in just one second, and we'll talk about moving up and what we're going to be doing for next week's tutorial. So now that row 27 is complete, we can talk about what you can do to move up. If you wanted to have um, this exact butterfly move up and have them stacked, you would rewind back to row two, and work rows 2 through 27 over and over as many times as you would like. You would end on row 27. Everything would be fine. Now, if you can wait, I am going to release next week a half butterfly tutorial. Just like I did with the last butterfly pattern. We're going to start out making the half butterfly next week. So that we have offset butterflies here on the next repeat of the design and then you can alternate between this video and next week's video and keep moving up to work a larger project like a blanket or anything that you would like so stay tuned for next week as always i appreciate you guys so much for watching if you do want to just repeat this design rewind back to row two work rows two through 27 your final row of any project should be row 27, just in where the design ends, and the top and bottom will match color-wise. So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Please leave me a comment down below if you did enjoy this tutorial, and see you guys next time. Bye for now.